And as Labonte and Greg Sachs come out of turn four, preparing to take the white flag, this last lap could prove interesting if that's the case. Meanwhile, in the Greg Sachs pit, they're believing that they have this race won. Sachs' wife, Victoria, was there with her fingers crossed. Sachs now, moving alongside of Labonte. He certainly is making moves which indicate he believes he needs to finish in front of Labonte. The last lap of the Firecracker 400. Greg Sachs, without question, has removed some of the headline potential from Bill Elliott today. Labonte still in front of Greg Sachs. It would take the unbelief. Sachs is moving high alongside Labonte, way close to the wall. That definitely confirms it. There is no way Sachs would make such a move if he felt he was in front. But now, even in his own mind, Greg Sachs is the winner of the Firecracker 400. Amazing the people who pulled it off they didn't work together more than a week ago but somehow they put it all together today they call this a research and development car certainly i hope they can remember all the things they did to make the number 10 car of greg Sachs a winner today bill elliott